Hi, I'm Janet Ivanovich. I'm here at the Border Store in Naples, Florida, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I absolutely love. I'm buying this book today. This is um, a cookbook by Mario Batali, and it's three of my favorite things. It's Spain, it's food, it's Mario Batali. I love Mario Batali. He's like the cross between the Pillsbury Doughboy and a big, huge leprechaun. He wears orange shoes. Okay, you can't see his orange shoes here. Can you not love a man who wears orange rubber shoes? Is he not the most adorable thing? And he can cook, girls. He can cook. Okay, now let's go on. I'm going to go look at the DVDs. Okay, we're here in the DVD section. It's, it's a fabulous section here in this border store. I stopped by Mamma Mia because I absolutely love this movie. It's got singing. It's got music. It energizes me. It's got disco. I'm back here in the um, Miyazaki section because I think he's a genius. I love everything he does. My favorite Miyazaki DVD is Kiki's Delivery Service. They don't have it here. Clearly, they're sold out. He does, um, he does just amazing things. Uh, my neighbor, Totoro, is wonderful. It's fanciful. It's colorful. It's just absolutely charming. And another thing that I love back here, Cowboy Bebop. I'm in love with Cowboy Bebop. This is, I think, a, a very sexy DVD. It's about a bounty hunter. OK, I'm back in the kids section at the border store. I always end up here because I love kids' books and I love kids' DVDs and movies. They have Enchanted here. I absolutely love this. I love, there's a huge production dance number in Central Park in the middle of the movie that is just to die for. When I'm depressed, this is where I go. Ratatouille. OK, it's about a chef and a mouse. Do you notice a theme here? I love cooking. Actually, I can't cook. I'm really a terrible cook, but I like to think I can cook. <laughs> I like to eat. I, th I think this is just, this is an amazing cartoon. You forget that it's a cartoon. It's, um, the characters are fabulous. It's one of my favorites. And I go onto the Ratatouille website and I play games. I'm really terrible at it because I'm an adult and adults should never try to do that, but my daughter helps me. Okay, so now I'm back in the music section because I use music a lot because um, lots of times when I'm writing, I get so bored with what I'm writing, I fall asleep on my desk and then I have to plug myself into music to wake myself up. So what do I listen to? I listen to the Bee Gees. You can't go wrong with the Bee Gees. Jive talking, night fever, good stuff. Listen to the Bee Gees a lot. I like um, hits from the 80s. Jessie's Girl and uh, Man Eater, Ghostbusters. They got the theme to Ghostbusters on here, one of my all-time favorite movies. And um, Roller Disco Hits. I have no clue what's on this, but if it's called Roller Disco Hits, I'm there, because how could it not be great? OK, this is my favorite section. This is cupcakes, uh-huh, like that, cakes. Need that book. Cookies, oh yeah, I'm there. Cookies Bible, I don't know what that means. Low fat, forget that, that can't be any good at all. Art and Soul Baking, Martha Stewart cookies. I don't know if Martha Stewart can make a cookie, but she makes a darn good laundry basket. I have this one, we actually have this one at home. Love this, look at that, is that not cute? Little cupcake things. You walk past this section, you can just smell it, can't you? Can't you smell this sec, doesn't it smell? That's not what I smell. I smell cake. We are following our noses to the delicious section in Borders. We have sourdough Asiago pretzels. We get that when we're on a road trip. We have cinnamon pecan. We have marshmallow boars, cinnamon rolls, carrot cheesecake. They got everything here. I'm, I'm like, OK. I can feel my hips expanding just standing in front of this case. I, I got to get a cup of coffee and a cake. OK, this is the magazine section in Borders. And I love this because they have all these dog books down here. They have puppies. Look at the puppy. Is she not the sweetest thing? Naples dog. What is a Naples dog? OK, I absolutely have to have this. 
I don't know what a Naples dog is, but I'm going there. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? One time I was in an elevator with Jane Fonda and she had the cutest little dog. My son was so taken with her dog, he never looked up once to find out it was Jane Fonda. Thank you, this is Janet Ivanovich signing off. It was really nice of you to tag along with me on this trip through Borders. Hope to see you again sometime soon.